Why are you smiling like that? No, no, no I'm just <laughs> curious. <laughs> no. They're just like, why are you smiling? Mm, or why are you smiling though? Good morning, friends. Mary Law here. Welcome back to another video. I'm a big fan of the show First Dates. If you don't know what the show First Dates is, where have you been? It's a show where people get paired up on blind dates and magic happens. Today, we're going to do a review of none other than the Breenie Lee. The Breenie Lee's date on First Dates Hotel, which I believe was filmed last year. Breenie Lee is uh, a YouTuber here on YouTube, obviously. Uh, she basically focuses on like life advice, kind of dating advice. If in some unlikely event you do not know her channel and you've never heard of her i'm going to link it in the description box below anyway right let's get right on into this video i don't know why i'm single <laughs> i don't know <laughs> help so what are you looking for i'm looking for love just simply i think before i had a long list of he needs this this i just want someone to love me really the problem is the good guys that i should go for i'm not attracted to them they don't have that spunk that I like in a guy. Spunk is a terrible word. I have a weird thing where I don't like things that sound, I don't like words that sound like what they are. So like words like spunk or like moist. Hopeful singleton Breenie prepares to meet her match. She's looking like she's trying to find her husband out here. You're about to see me in this red dress. Guys definitely do slide in my DMs and it's usually the guys that I do not want. It is very rare for a guy that you like want to be the one who slides in your DMs. I'm, I, I mean, it's rare. It's rare. On the odd occasion that it's happened in my life, I'm like, Jesus. Mm, mm, mm. You have blessed me. But I definitely would love to know what it feels like to be in love. Pumped and primed. Breenie's date, six foot of pure beefcake. 30 year old personal trainer, Bavare. What is your favorite muscle? Oh, you should see them. Go on then, go on then. Oh, we've got these bad boys. I feel like I've got six in a minute, but I could always do with two more. I appreciate, look, he's a, what, he, I think they said he's a fitness trainer. So I get it. You want to show off your assets. I get it. But like, for me, I'd rather be surprised that you had a great body. Do you know what I mean? Than like, you just being really like forward about it. Let it speak for you. Don't, don't be too vocal about it. Relax. For anyone who's doing like online dating, don't have a profile that is just topless photos. Just don't do it. Don't, don't do it. If you're gonna have topless photos, have like one and make sure it's not a mirror selfie. Let it be like a picture of you, you know, having a wholesome time on the beach. Like, let it have context. Anyway, right, rant over. Hi, you nice later. to meet you. Nice to meet you, the day two, I don't know. How Small are you? Nice. Oh, you look good. Thank you. Good. What do you do? Personal training. Okay, straight off the bat, they feel, it feels like they're, they're into each other, you know? He, he, he was like, she was like, you smell nice. Which is a good, good compliment for a guy. Smell is always, always important. I love when a guy smells good. Oh my gosh, I love it. It just makes me want to just like, I don't know what that was. I just want to be so close to them, like that I'm inside them. No, that sounds weird. And he was like, oh, you look good. Because obviously my girl pulled out the stops. Do you know what I mean? She wasn't coming half-hearted. She was not coming half-hearted. She was like, you gonna respect me today. Actually, I'm into like working out and stuff. I've got a personal trainer myself. I have to give you a little workout at some point, <laughs> isn't it? <laughs> hey, what do you do though? Well, I'm an influencer. Okay. So I like, I do like a lot of YouTube videos on like yeah. relationships, avoiding F boys and stuff like that. Yeah. <laughs> the way he just went, ah, yes. <laughs> like, oh, she's gonna be a tough cookie. If there's guys watching this video, I want to know how would you feel about dating a girl who was like a relationship guru? You know about all of that, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Why are you smiling like that? No, no, no I'm just <laughs> <Is that cute>. <laughs> <experience> <laughs> that? <laughs> They're just like, why are you smiling? Mm, or why are you smiling though? Is there something you want to tell me? <laughs> Yeah, no, this, this is this is interesting. I feel like if I was a guy and I was like a bit of a player, there's probably two ways that I would handle this right now. 
on one hand I'd probably think oh gosh one of those goodbye see you later or I might think oh one of those does she really know what she's talking about let me test her and I know that there are guys like that who want to go for the whole let me see let me test her let me crack her root which obviously don't do that Alyssa cheers yeah nice to meet you cheers nice to meet you too what's your name a lot of people call me Bavare. Bavare. Yeah. What's your actual name? It is Bavare. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of people call me Mary Law, but my name is actually Mary Law. What's yours? Greeny. Greeny. Yes. We should have done that at the start. I know. <laughs> like, that was very important, wasn't it? <laughs> it seems as though first impressions for both of them is kind of good. We're going well. I mean, obviously, I can't form a first impression on Brini because I already know what. Well, I, I have enough of an impression. Of her although it's interesting because obviously we've never seen her in an actual dating situation and I'm wondering how she's gonna necessarily communicate her standards because that is something that she's very like hot on everyone to make sure that they do early on in Italian we call this amo i muscoli mm -hmm. so means uh, love muscle Oh, love muscle. You love muscles? Do you love muscles? Yeah. We get it. You've got a good body. You look good. I'm not going to lie to you. Like. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> hey, mommy's boy? Mm, my mum looks after me. Put it that way. My mum loves me. <laughs> <laughs> Do you want your own family? 100%. Yeah, I've got a daughter though. Hey! Hey, that was a plot twist, plot twist, plot twist. I've dated one person in the past who had a child. I don't think I could do it now. It's nothing to do with the child. It's more because in this society, it's almost always the case that the woman has more parental rights, like by default, than men do. In order for you to keep a relationship with that child, you've basically got to be where the child is. And that is very much dictated by where the mother of the child wants to be. What if I was like, hey, let's move to Canada. We can't just do that because you can't just bring your child with us. It's the thought of having like that other person kind of dictate our life's decisions or options is the reason why I, I'd prefer not. And I'm trying to create that perfect role model for her. Because uh, my mom and dad are still together. Yeah. And they're like massive inspiration for me in terms of like, you know, how a relationship should be. Do you feel like you have time for a relationship? Are you asking if I've got time for you? <laughs> If you want to make time, you make time. Do you make time? He seems like he's on it, but I just, I can't tell. There's something about his demeanor that is like, making me not trust him. I will say, like, he sounds like he is active in his child's life, so much respect for that. Sadly, you have to applaud that because of how many guys do not do that. She looks so nice, by the way. I'm just deep that her makeup is actually really nice. <laughs> you got a nice one. Thank you. It works. <laughs> So I'm ticking boxes, yeah? <laughs> ticking so boxes. Unlimited boxes, like, mm -hmm. run out. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, so what's your, what's your type though? When someone asks what your type is, kind of a dangerous question. Because, right, if you tell someone exactly who your type is, they could very easily mould themselves into your type and then play with you or do whatever to get what they want from you and then cut. Like, you got to keep it a little bit a little bit vague. Okay, my number one is Christian. I'm a, I'm a Christian. Obviously, my yeah. family are Christians. You know. That's good. I became a Christian when I was like 16. I literally had no respect, like, no respect for anybody. Like, zero respect for myself. 13-year-old me, I was out every day. So, I was really bad drinking. Hey, Brini, drinking at 13. God has really, really turned it around. The closest I got to alcohol when I was around 13 was one Christmas. Someone brought um, the Christmas pudding. I think it was like one of our Jamaican um, family friends who made like the Christmas pudding. And I, do they soak it in rum? They soak it in something. And yo, I loved that pudding. I loved it. I ate so much of it that like, I just remember getting very tired and getting very like, ooh. And then I had to go to bed and I spent like the rest of Christmas day asleep. Partying. Sex. <laughs> I think boys made me feel seen and wanted and desirable. 
but then after they would leave it made me feel like oh I'm not worth it I'm not worth you making me your girlfriend I'm not worth anything oh my gosh I can relate to this so 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 much but that's for another video it's kind of emotional it's kind of making me emotional oh my gosh sorry it's actually boiling in my room if you don't know about these fans from Ghana mate you're not living I feel like I'm in a music video I'm a savage Nancy <laughs> Benji I'm a savage yeah glassy boogie rocket so how important is like the, the faith to you it is important because it kind of keeps me grounded isn't it so my thing is like if I'm gonna be in a relationship with you yeah we're getting married I don't want boyfriend and girlfriend I'm just not hey So you're skipping the whole boyfriend girlfriend? No, it's like, no, we have <laughs> Whenever I say this, people always say, people always think that if I want to date someone, it has to be leading to marriage. Okay, so, so I, I get what she was trying to say. She basically just does intentional dating, which is basically like you don't just date to date. Her end goal is not just boyfriend and girlfriend. Her end goal is marriage. I never know what level is okay on the first date because to me I think mentioning marriage on the first date is not shouldn't be a scary thing however and me and my mum sometimes talk about this sort of stuff like my mum's very much like you know the first few dates like you shouldn't put so much pressure on it because sometimes it might come across as if like you're just like hungry for a ring oh, it's tough because it's like on one hand she's like letting you know like listen if we're gonna do this it has to be because we both want to get married eventually. But then, but then, yeah, I'm like, mm, mm. is the first date, like the first date, maybe just, I don't know, guys, what do you think? I believe in like no second for marriage. Ah, I love how she just dropped it. She just went, here you go. Kudos for her for saying that. Like he was like, yo, that's intense. It is always interesting to me when people say that they're Christian but then get really like shocked or overwhelmed by another Christian who is like actually following the commands of Christianity. The thing is the, the thing that makes celibacy hard is because you actually want to do it. I know what is right for me you know and that is waiting to marry. Fair enough. I'm excited for my wedding night. <laughs> I'm excited. I might actually cut the wedding short and <laughs> as soon as I say I do <laughs> Be like I'm gone. <laughs> Girl, I feel you on that one. Listen, mate, if I've been waiting for like years, ain't gonna be no after party. We're going straight back into the room. We're gonna do our business. Do you know what I mean? For all these couples who have been celibate out here, um, who were planning on getting married this year, and then your wedding has had to be pushed back. Trying to hold back for so long. Can you imagine? Like you were like, yes, like I'm gonna get some on this date. You're like counting down the months. And then they tell you, oh, you're gonna have to postpone it to next year. Like a brava, I might have to just do like, you know, a, a registry ceremony and then, you know, get it going. Because then, cause I don't know if I can wait any longer. <laughs> what do you believe about celibacy? I'm not gonna tell you that, yeah, okay, cool. Um, a saint, but you try your best. And that's what I'm doing. And then what happens? What happens is I'm just waiting to find the right one. <laughs> How you doing there, guys? So here's the bill. Mm. Do you want me to give you a few minutes or...? I'll sort it out. Respect for him just very quickly, very confidently, just being like, I'll sort out the bill. I'll sort out the bill. Like that, like that, assertive, strong. Oh, it's weird, because I just... Do you know what it is? It's like... From what I know of her, I can't see them together, but like, they seem to get on. Well, obviously I can't see them together. They obviously weren't together because she has a boyfriend now. But, um, well, who knows? He could be her boyfriend. Who actually knows? It was really good. He's very attractive. I do think he fancied me. Thanks for dinner. Thanks for showing up on a red dress. <laughs> I think he's husband material more than boyfriend. Eesh, husband material. Eesh, 
husband husband material i don't know i don't know personally for me for me no but um but again i wasn't on their date i didn't see the whole thing it obviously seemed like there were sparks and stuff based on what he kind of portrayed i do think that he does like her i'm not really sure about how he feels about her standards and material <laughs> and he wants to have a family so two thumbs up <laughs> Personality wise, you got a strong persona. <laughs> You're funny. Thanks. <laughs> There's a lot of things that we do agree with. There's a few points where we're like, mm, mm, okay, well, I'm not sure about that. No, it was amazing. Thank <laughs> you. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank, Thank you. Good night. Would you like to see each other again? This bit is always awkward. Do you want to go first? You go first. <laughs> Um, I'll probably see the friends. Ah! Ouch! My chest! Oscar-winning actors, Golden Globes, Brit Awards, if you will. That's really quite unfair. He really wasn't giving her... He really wasn't giving me the vibe that he was gonna say friends, you know. Friends. You can't be like flirty, like such flirty banter, and then as soon as you're done, just be like, no, I don't see anything there, just friends. Oh, Brini, that has got to be painful. Do you know what's actually annoyed me though? What's actually annoyed me is the fact that like, she can do better. Like, I'm not, look, this is not even to diss her, him. Like, I'm not gonna diss him. I don't know him, whatever. But it's like, she could get like, Matt, like honestly, when I look at her, I just think like she could get top, top tier. So it's like to have the absolute audacity, to have the absolute temerity to to reject her, mate. How how dare you? How dare you? So would you like to see it again romantically? Not romantically, no. I was gonna say yeah. Do you know what? I respect the fact that she still said that she would say yes. Like, I respect the fact that she was honest about it because if it was me, boy, child, I'll be like, yeah, mate, you know what I mean? Friend zone immediately, immediately in that friend zone, mate. Didn't see anything. No, no sparks. Even if, I, <laughs> but to be fair, like, you can't, I guess for her, like, there's no way that she could have been on camera being like, yeah, I feel like, you know, it went well and he's potentially husband material and then she comes on here and does a your butters anyway do you know what I mean you can't you can't do that you can't do that but but respect for her for being honest in front of him but look at his face that's so awkward oh no I feel bad for her it's weird because I feel bad for her like here but I don't feel bad for her because now I know that she's in a loving blossoming relationship and listen when God closes the door do you know what I mean when God closes a door, there's a window that's open. Amen. Amen. Conversation flow throughout. But I said, I just, just didn't feel that initial spike, I guess. He was giving me. I think that he did like her, and I do think that he did feel a spark. I think that he was scared off by her principles. That's what I think. So I think, honestly, it's better for someone to just like say no early on. Like, it's painful. It is painful, but it's just better rather than carry on and carry on and carry on knowing that you know that you're not prepared to match up like principles wise so yeah but yeah Brini girl don't don't even feel ashamed honey you just said what's what and if that's and if he didn't like it then you knew that wasn't the guy for you I feel like with my beliefs kind of narrows down my choices but I know who I am I know what I stand for and I feel like I just need to find someone that matches that and unfortunately that wasn't him Good night. Girl, that's really what it is, honestly, girl. So yeah, I hope you guys liked that video. If you did, make sure to obviously give it a like and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already subscribed. If you haven't already subscribed, what are you doing? Do you know what I mean? Hit that subscribe button. What exactly are you waiting for? Um, and let me know of other things you want me to react to. All right, love you and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.